All right, let's finish the list. The best Premier League player for each kit number from 31 to 60. This is where things get obscure. But also, I'm gonna use one or two players who weren't given a jersey number at the start of the season, but who are now out on loan. 31, Ederson. Despite looking like he failed an audition for end-ups, Ederson has proven himself to be one of the best goalies in Europe while at Man City. Like Allison is passing his pinpoint, but unlike his predecessor Claudio Bravo, he's actually able to save a shot or two. Instead of crumbling like a jammy donut whenever the ball comes anywhere near his gloves. 32, Leander de Donker. Leander de Donker is just another in a string of Excellent signings for Wolves. Yes, the 23-year-old Belgian midfielder is only unknown from Anderlecht, but this fella is a top player. 33, Gabriel Jesus. Without doubt, the best player you're going to find in this list. Gabriel Jesus is just unlucky that he's currently sitting on the bench behind one of the most prolific strikers in the world. This man will be starting every week for nearly every other team in the country. With 40 goals and 85 games for Man City, he is clinical. 34, Granit Xhaka. Granit Xhaka is a man who has practically single-handedly cost about half the Arsenal fan base that meltdowns every week. Well, to be fair, it's not hard. Arguing whether or not he should be anywhere near the goddamn team. Look, he doesn't score many goals, but the Swiss midfielder of 70 caps is a good player on his day. 35, Alexander Zinchenko. Alexander Zinchenko was minutes away from signing for Wolves last summer, when he'd have no doubt been given a more important number than 35. But I think this just sort of shows how big Man City's squad is, and also how little they thought of him last summer. But the 22-year-old left side of wing back has made 13 appearances already this season, scored his first goal, and no doubt confused many elderly fans in the crowd as to wondering why the hell De Bruyne was playing left back. 36, Sean Longstaff. Sorry, Matteo Darmian, you probably are a better player, for Christ's sake you have 36 caps for Italy, and Juventus seem to want you for some godforsaken reason, but I'm going to give this one to Sean Longstaff, only in the team because Mike Ashley reacted to a midfield injury crisis with a few pasties and greats. For God's sake, the only reason Longstaff isn't at Portsmouth on loan is because Benitez knew he wasn't getting any money to spend. Anyway, he's done very well in the last six weeks. 37, Roberto Pereira. I'm not sure why Roberto Pereira wears 37. Numbers like these are usually reserved for the 19-year-old left back with the first touch of a parish priest, not for lads who were playing in the Champions League final four years ago. Hamza Chuduri. Okay, now we're getting into obscure territory. This is more like it. Hamza Chudori is a 21-year-old midfielder just breaking into the Leicester first team picture. 39, Scott McTominay. This man has been at Manchester United since 2002. Scott McTominay, who probably grew up idolising Darren Fletcher, has already played 34 times for Man United, whether in midfield or shunted into defence, and he's rarely let anybody down. 40, Luke Amos. Luke Amos is a talented 21-year-old midfielder who has played once for Tottenham, once, making his Premier League debut in the opening game of the season up at St. James's Park. A month later, he ruptured his ACL and was out for the season. Bad luck, lad, but hey, it's not all bad. You're now officially the best number 40 in the Premier League. Go on, stick that one on the fridge. 41, Declan Rice. Oh, great. It's him. Declan Rice, a man with all the loyalty of a Welsh manager, has already played 59 times for West Ham and, um... Three times for Ireland. And yet off he goes to wait for that phone call of Gareth Southgate. What a waste of a person. 42, Jason Punchin. Joining Huddersfield in mid-January is sort of like preparing yourself for failure. Kind of like when Jason Punchin clearly waffled down a Vindaloo 20 minutes before a bit of a game for Southampton. Jason Punchin, he shits when he wants. He also gets relegated when he wants, joining a team 13 points clear at the bottom. 43, John Joe Kenny. Remember when John Joe Kenny took advantage of Seamus Coleman's broken bones to play 20 times for Everton last season? Not bad considering the previous campaign he'd been in League 2. I mean, Everton don't really need this 21-year-old anymore. But hey, cling on to your number 43 for now, lad. 44, Ethan Ampadu. Big things are expected of Ethan Ampadu. Strange, considering he's played nearly more games for his country than Chelsea. But hey, the 18-year-old centre half is one of the only youngsters they haven't sent into a loan deal. So maybe there's hope for him yet. Or, you know, he'll just get flogged to Bournemouth for 20 million pounds. 45, Fikeo Tomori. Okay, this is where we start getting really obscure. Fikeo Tomori is a 21-year-old Canadian defender who's played for England at underage level. I'm guessing Canada also want to crucify him at the stake. Actually, no, Canadians are gentle folk and... Just really nice. They probably just showered him with confetti and gave him a kiss goodbye. Anyway, he was given the number 45 jersey at the start of the season before Frank Lampard dragged him to Derby on loan. 46, Josh Bohe. Many of you haven't heard of Josh Bohe, but he's a teenage centre forward who's currently locked in contract talks and has the likes of Barcelona and Monaco sniffing around. 47, Phil Foden. If Phil Foden was at any other club in England, he'd be starting every week. He just would. Born in May 2000, good god I'm old, he's done well to squeeze 20 appearances out of Pep Guardiola this season and has weighed in with 5 goals. He's going to be a superb player. Assuming stays off the drink and Mackie D's like another former City prodigy. 48, Morgan Feeney. Okay, I don't know a massive amount about Morgan Feeney. He's a 20-year-old striker from Bootle with two appearances for Everton and one of them came in a 5-1 home defeat to Atlanta. Well, what do you want from me? It's number 48. 49, Arjanid Muric. Arjanid Muric has played more games in international football than he has Premier League games. I mean, to be fair, it, it was Kosovo, so your blind granny would probably start for them. But Muric is an up-and-coming 20-year-old Man City goalkeeper. I'll be honest, I've, I've never seen him play. Then again, neither of 
debut, 50 Eric Garcia. This surely has to make you feel old. Eric Garcia is a defender who's already played for Man City this season and he was born in 2001. 2001, lads, that's the year Frank Lampard signed for Chelsea. This kid was three when Jose Mourinho arrived in England. He was seven when John Terry slipped on his arse and 13 when Steven Gerrard did it. 13. My god. Anyway, enough of me getting the Catholic clergy excited. This former Barcelona starter is a talent. Watch this space. 51, Kiana Hoover. Oh, good Christ. This fellow was born in 2002. And with that, my subscriber count just skyrocketed in the Vatican. Kiana Hoover only turned 17 last month, but was already spat on the pitch for Liverpool in the FA Cup game against Wolves. I mean, they lost, but, but still, look out for this defender in about five years. 52, Oliver Skip. Just another on the Spurs production line, who the fans will be reminding the world of in nauseating songs. Oliver Skip is an 18 year old midfielder who's already played 10 times this season. Not bad. 53, Obi Ejaria. Okay, this is where things get tough. 53, come on lads. Obi Ejaria was given this jersey at Anfield last summer, but just switched to Reading on loan. 54, Shea Ojo. Another Liverpool loanee. Shea Ojo is going to turn 22 this summer. I don't see this fella ever playing for Liverpool again. The winger is currently out on his fourth consecutive loan spell with Stad Doren. Lad, get the hint. Jurgen's just not that into you. 55, George McAkern. George McAkern is a brave man to persist at a club who treated his brother like an expired yogurt, leaving him to stew in the fridge for 14 years, tossing him out on a Five, yes, five loan spells before cutting the cord in 2015. His younger brother George is still at Stamford Bridge. And hey, this fella's won the World Cup. I mean, the under 17 World Cup, but still. 56, Martel Taylor Crossdale. Martel Taylor Crossdale, no relation to Oberyn. Sorry, that was terrible, but, but hey, Game of Thrones is back soon. This fellow was born on Boxing Day 1999 and is an up and coming centre forward. But you're at Chelsea though, so expect to live out of a suitcase for the next seven years of your life. 57, Ashraf Lazar. Don't get comfy, Ashraf Lazar. You surely you have no future in the Premier League. He's a left back who couldn't even make Paul Dummett feel uneasy about his position. He's scoring alone at Sheffield Wednesday. He's not even young either. 27 years old. How does this fella have 17 caps for Morocco? 58, Ben Woodburn. At the moment, Ben Woodburn is currently at Liverpool, despite interest from Rangers and Old City. Wales' second youngest ever goal scorer is a talent. Look out for this goal scorer in the coming years. Or, you know, he'll just end up like a soiled sock in the same way Francis Jeffers did. 59, Harry Wilson. Again, I'm cheating a little because Harry Wilson has scored 12 goals a season at Derby County, where he certainly doesn't play with the number 59 splashed on his back. But hey, the 21-year-old winger was given this number to Anfield last summer. He makes it in. 60, Billy Gilmore. Okay, I'm gonna level with you. I've never heard of Billy Gilmore. I don't even know if he's any good. I mean, he's number 60 at Chelsea, so I'm guessing not. He's a Scottish midfielder born in, Jesus Christ, June 2001, and last summer signed his first personal contract with Chelsea. Oh, and he was also awarded the Revelation of the Tournament Award during the 2018 Toulon Tournament. Here's our Revelation of the Tournament. Half the players in it will be working down the local bowling alley within five years. Just kidding, that was extraordinarily harsh. 